Welcome to Sahana Show. Today we're at Disneyland again. You can see my goofy video. The link's down below. We're gonna go on the story book lad ride. Let's go! We're really being transported to a magical place called Storybook Land. Now, of course, our story begins with Once Upon a Time. And in this case, a big bad wolf who lives in the cave on our left. He's always after the three little pigs. They live across the way in their three little houses of straw, sticks, and wolf goose bricks. Then our story takes a strange turn. For just around the corner is the quaint English village that's home to Alice. One golden afternoon, she followed a white rabbit down the rabbit hole into Wonderland, where everything became curiouser and curiouser. Story of Land is full of fantastic places like London Park on our right, over which Wendy, John, and Michael Darling first flew with Peter Pan and Tinkerbell on their way to Neverland, where you never ever have to grow up. And places like Agrabah, City of Mystery and Enchantment, where a street vet named Aladdin bumped into Princess Jasmine in the marketplace and stole her heart. With the power of love and the help of a genie, they now live happily married in the Sultan's Palace atop the hill. These magical places of storybook land are where love shines, like the twinkling lights in the archways above us. The same ones Aladdin and Jasmine soared over, sideways and under, on a magic carpet ride to a whole new world. On all good stories are full of love and light, they have their dark places too, like the Cave of Wonders just ahead. Its treasure bears a curse that can only be lifted by the genie of the lamp. Legend has it, whoever frees the genie will be granted three wishes. What would you wish for? Snow White wished for a safe place to hide from the evil queen and came upon the cozy forest cottage on our right. It's the home of the seven dwarves who offered her shelter in return for her kindness. And turning the page to our left, we'll find the stately chateau where Cinderella wished to go to the ball. With a bibbity bobbity boo her fairy godmother granted that wish. But at the stroke of midnight, her coach turned back into a pumpkin and it's still up there on that bridge. While magic has its limits, thankfully love does not. And Cinderella now lives with her Prince Charming in the castle high above. Watch your eyes. Is that a dream is a wish your heart makes. Some dream of happily ever after, while others dream of drifting off to sleep on hills of quilted flowers, like the ones on our left. Inspired by the 1933 Silly Symphony cartoon, Lullaby Land. That's the magic of a bedtime storybook. Magic is everywhere in storybook land, even in the plants and trees, which are kept small through the enchantment of Tinkerbell. Much like the Lost Boys of Neverland, they'll never grow up. That's just part of what made this place a favorite of master storyteller Walt Disney, and continues to inspire storytellers today. With classic tales like The Wind in the Willows. Up ahead is Toad Hall, ancestral home of J. Betty is Toad Esquire. While Mr. Toad's neighbors, Rat and Mole, are at home having tea, he's off on a wild ride, merrily on his way to nowhere in particular. And stories of magic like that of Arendelle beneath the frozen mountains. High above the fjord is the ice palace where Queen Elsa fled for fear of hurting someone. But her sister, Princess Anna, refused to let her go, and that act of true love saved them both. In the alpine village ahead, the woodcarver Geppetto wished upon a star for his puppet to become a real boy. And after Pinocchio saved him from Monstro, the Blue Fairy granted that wish. Oh, I almost forgot Wandering Oaken's trading post and sauna.
fishes are a part of so many fairy tales, like the one that inspired a little mermaid named Ariel to follow Prince Eric to the castle on our right. She gave up her life under the sea to fulfill her dream of becoming part of our world. Ariel had to leave behind her underwater home of Atlantica on our list, ruled by her father, who was the next to the like an Ogus story. He saw to it his daughter received her happily ever after. And that happy ending is the final piece of our storybook magic. And so as we return to the dock, please keep your hands, arms, and fingers inside the boat. It's been a pleasure having you. That was fun. Bye. See you next time. Make sure you like